Welcome to the ultimate in sporting excellence, where the creme de la creme collide in a cornucopia of thrilling action. Who will win gold? Who will be victorious? Who? Hello and welcome to Battle Cats 2016. This is the only place to see cats go claw to claw, paw to paw, and of course, jaw to jaw. Well, first, let's bring you up to speed with the headlines across a truly amazing day of competition. Jubilant scenes at the ice arena as rank outsiders, the fat ginger toms, claim gold in the kitten curling competition. Whilst tragedy strikes as several cat protesters overheat after climbing onto the hot tin roof of the stadium. Well, on a lighter note, still plenty of Battle Cats action to come today. We go straight over to one of the Blue Ribbon events of the tournament, the Lady Meow Meow Memorial Low Jump. Your tournament commentators, Frank Doodle and Colin Tabbycat. Thanks, Chris. Due to construction delays, this event will now take place in these two flats in Hull and Milton Keynes. Like me, my cat's going to be known as a legend. This is low jump champion trainer Marilyn. Here he is, champion battle cat. Well, Mork needs no introduction. He's the Sphinx who's taken the low jump event by storm. What's his secret, Frank? It's the trusted training tool, the yellow feather, I think, Colin. No, Frank, I think it's more unconventional than that. She's using the latest in fruit-based training regimes. And we have a secret weapon, and it's a high vitamin C fruit. Yes, the lemon. It's a fruit, of course, but it does things to cats. Uh, we don't quite understand how and why, but it sure makes them jump. A bit like a cucumber, finds the life out of them. Let's meet the opposition, something a little more conventional. Sarah's best friend is a dog. <laughs> Or maybe not. Look at her. She's a champion. Sarah, no. She's yeah. ruining my suit. This is Kathleen Sarah, whose trainer is a professional poker player, uh, not a vampire. Although there's no mirrors in his flat, I've noticed. Or garlic, Frank. Let's look at the cat stats. Mork obviously got aerodynamicists with his uh, boil in the bag skin, but is he cute enough? The 85% in Sarah's favour. Let's find out. Thanks, Colin. They both now take to the low jump. It's about take-off trajectory and getting as close to the centre as possible. And, of course, extra points for aerial style and general grace. Expect nerves, fur and, of course, claws. It's vampire versus temptress. Referee Roddy Charlton is always standing by in the kitchen slash dining area. What a character. OK, well, we uh, join the event as uh, Sarah just... Oh, well, both competitors getting warmed up there on the takeoff launching pad. Uh, just get, finding his feet more there. Sarah's just... Uh, well, she's just checking out the general uh, atmosphere. What's she doing now? Well, nothing. Mork seems to be looking in the wrong direction. Uh, I'm sure he'll be looking in the right direction at any moment. Uh, Sarah's just, uh, well, she seems to be... That's a very relaxed attitude, Frank. I, I haven't seen that before. Walks preparing to jump, just using his uh, paw to, to check the airspeed. That's very clever work there from the Sphinx. Just eyeing up the target area. Now, you can't... No, the vampire can't touch Sarah. That's against the rules. He'll get penalised for that. Now he's trying to entice her with that. Is that a mouse? That's just wrong. Hang on a minute, Mork's making his move. And Sarah's making hers. This is neck and neck stuff. Let's see where they land. Sarah in first. Oh, that's close to the centre. But look at Mork. That's a direct hit. Let's wait for the scores. 5.9, 5.6, 5.3, 6-0, 6 5.9. Mork smashed it. He's won the gold medal. Wow. Marilyn's pleased with that, and why shouldn't she be? That's the gold medal for the cat that's won everything. Well done, Mork. He's off to get the kitchen sink. No, he's getting in it. Well, I cannot believe what I've just seen. Thanks for watching, and join us again on Battle Cats. Goodbye. <coughs> Take a look at this from earlier on the practice track. It took three officials to stop this cat fight and break these two fierce rivals up. Obviously, nobody likes to see that kind of thing at this kind of level of competition.